Hello everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to Film Frontier. You might recognize me from the Cinema Scoop, where we talked about movies as well, but this show is going to be a little bit different. This time, we're actually going to know what movies we're talking about. Anyways, let's start off with a classic movie that hopefully everyone knows, Back to the Future. So, Back to the Future, if you couldn't tell by the name, it's a science fiction movie. It's about these two characters, Marty McFly and Doc Emmett Doc Brown, or Dr. Emmett Brown. And um, he makes this a DeLorean, which allows him to travel through time. There's a couple of catches. He, ha he has to be driving 88 miles per hour. He has to have about 1.21 gigawatts of power. And for the most part, that's about it. Oh, and also plutonium. Uh, I forget how much, but just a couple of things that apparently you need for time travel. So at the beginning of the movie, uh, Doc's showing him the DeLorean. Tests it out. Everything goes well. But Marty gets in, and he accidentally travels back to 1955, where he meets his mom. His mom accidentally falls in love with him, and he has to make sure that his mom falls in love with his dad before he ceases to exist. Um, so obviously, well not obviously, this take, movie takes place in the 80s. So obviously we're going to have a lot of good music. A couple of ones that come to mind, Power of Love, Time Bomb Town, both of those are amazing songs. Very upbeat, you know, like positive, really get you in the move, recognizable, and obviously nostalgic. And I feel like it just had a really good plot and overall premise. Like, they had a beautiful execution, but there's certain movies that when you try to do time travel, you really don't do it well. Deja Vu and is a good one, takes place in the 90s, forget about it, because really not that interesting. Um, the Flash, it was, it was a good movie overall, but I feel like the time travel aspect just wasn't it. And the best part about Back to the Future, it sets itself up for a second movie, but it doesn't require it to be a second movie. Like, you don't need a second movie in order for everything to fit together. Well, that just about wraps up this episode of Frame by Frame. I hope you all enjoyed. Go ahead and follow the Instagram, and more episodes coming soon.